So here we go. I'm just going to lay out for you the formulas that involve the moments and the mass of a two-dimensional region. Um, the text calls it a planar lamina. Lamina. That's fun to say. Think of a planar lamina as a very, very thin, very thin. Um, the third dimension does not impact us. So you really need three dimensions to talk about something's mass. So a planar lamina, for example, could be, um, you know, a piece of paper, very thin. We're just going to treat a uh, planar lamina as it's got an extraordinarily thin um, third dimension, so it doesn't change the value of the problem. One other basic fact I need to give to you is that when you're calculating the mass of something, um, we would need the area of the region multiplied by its density. So we would calculate that as, for example, not an only example, but just one example, square centimeters could be our area, and then we could be calculating a density of grams per square centimeter, and then when we're done with the multiplication, we would have grams, which is a mass unit. That would just be one example. For our problems, we're going to use a density function that is the Greek letter rho. When I draw it, it looks like the letter P in the English alphabet, but this is rho. Rho of xy will be a common notation for um, identifying density. It's not just used in uh, spherical coordinates. So, here we go. Basic concept. If you have a double integral with respect to A and it could measure the area, then we would think of this integral as uh, kind of like multiplying every point in our region by a density value. It's very similar to this calculation that gives us mass. This will be our calculation for generating mass. Before, we thought of this as the third dimension and we might calculate volume. What we're using this now is to calculate the mass of a planar lamina, such as maybe a piece of paper. All right, so now let me just unfold our formulas and highlight them a little bit. So we have mass is the integral of our region, a double integral, um, over the density function. The moment about the y-axis, remember the y-axis separates the left side from the right side. So we see x multiplied by density. This calculation will give you your, your moment. We can actually get values that are positive or zero or negative when we do this calculation. Volume will never be negative, but this could be negative if we're tending towards the left side. Zero if it's centered on the axis and positive if centered on the right. And then the moment about the x-axis, and again the x-axis separates the top from the bottom, will be the y value multiplied by density. And finally, the center of mass is basically two such averages. The left-right moment divided by mass is the x-coordinate. And the above and below the x-axis will give us our y value divided by mass. 
So these are the formulas we're going to need to keep handy as we start doing examples, which we will do soon.